This is a tutorial about Excel 2010 and what I'm going to do is talk about how to sort um, basic address lists and I'll do a few tricks that are applicable in 2010. I believe all the same tools will be available to you in earlier versions. You'll just need to uh, look a little harder for them because the layout of the tool menus will be different and you can do that via the help menu. So. I've just uh, put in some headers up here and bolded them, first name, last name, street address, town, city, and, and plugged in Mr. John Smith. So what we're going to talk about here is, is how, to, how to manage these address. Now, you'll notice I don't have a C column. That's because I hid one. So I'm going to unhide that column and show you what it is. Full name. And the reason I want to do that is one thing we're going to discuss is how to um, identify duplicate names. And another thing that's at a very basic level is just how to get our data to represent it uh, properly. Um, if, if I go over to the right hand side and I type in a zip code 06511 and hit enter, you'll see that it's dropping the zero. And that's because, um, well, Excel is a, is a program that's doing mostly math. It doesn't really care about that zero at the front end. Now, uh, one way to do this might be to format this as a um, as, as text, but another way to do this is if you right click and you click format cells and then you go down to it, it will be preset to general, we're going to go down and set it to special and oh this is actually doing it as zip code, I did this manually but it must have reset it for me, let me do it one more time 06511, I'll right click click format cells, I'm going to click custom and I'm going to type up here one, two, three, four, five zeros. And you'll see that it, it will display that zero. And if I right click it again, click format cells, it looks like it recognized what I was trying to do and it said, okay, we, we know what you're trying to do. We're going to do this as a zip code. So either way, I showed you a way to do it manually custom, but th this way is fine also. Now I'm going to get rid of that row because I don't, or that column because I don't want it. Now uh, you're going to receive names, first name and last name and you probably want to have those sortable so I would put those in separate columns and then it's going to be useful to look for duplicates to combine those two. So this column is going to be more about the math of combining them. It's not really math because we're using names so we're going to use a command that's called concatenate. So uh, this is the formula you want to use. We're concatenating uh, A2 and B2 and then we're getting a combined name in this list and then we'll, we'll later look for duplicates. Um, so I'm going to go to sheet 2 which is I've taken that, I've taken what I've done already and I've sort of merged it through into, uh, into a longer list and I have a bunch of made up people at different addresses and you'll see now I actually have a couple of John Smiths and those John Smiths, one is living at 13 Elm Street and one is living at 13 Elm ST, um, which is probably the same person. However, I also have a um, John Smith at 15 Maple Street. So I've got two guys with the same name, and I've got two names that are the same guy. And how are we going to sort through that? Um, now, one thing I've done is I've got a blank column here that I've inserted, and I've also got this little gizmo up here. And what that is, it's, it's a way to create these kind of functional things that you'll be using to sort, but then you won't need to see them when you're printing out your list. I can easily just click that little minus button or the plus button and see it or hide it. Or I can come over here and, and do this. And the way you do that is, let's say these guys are not something I want to see or print all the time. I can go to my data tab and I can say group. So now it's done the same thing here. And if I just type 1, everything collapses to everything enlarges. And I can also make kind of meta stacks of data. If I grab all the way over here and I say group, you'll see there's now another layer. So there's one completely collapsed, two which is partially collapsed, and then three which is which is uncollapsed. And if, you, and if you've got these tags, you can, you can also ungroup them. So I can go backwards, ungroup, because really right now I've got this concatenated column of names which I'm not going to need when I'm printing out uh, a list or a mail address or I may not need it. And then this column which is going to do something else and I'll show you that next. So really the question is how do we identify 
these duplicate names and then um, sort through them. And it's not quite as easy as, as one might think. Uh, if I, there is a tool here in Excel if I select all of these um, cells and I come up here and click remove duplicates. Okay, it's going to say, well, okay, well, where do you want, what columns do you want me to actually look at when I'm doing that? Now, you don't want it to do town, city, or state because these are all the same and it's going to remove everything. So I'm going to unselect all. What I really care about is this concatenated column. So I'll say column C. Now, you see, the problem is, is we now only have one John Smith. See, three duplicate values are removed nine unique values remain. Well, one of those John Smiths was actually a different person, so that's not a great way to do it. That's not a good way to do it at all. So we're not going to do that. And there's going to be a little bit of manual work to do this. So I'm going to go to another copy of the sheet, sheet number three, and show you what this is going to look like. So here's my collapse group. And, and by the way, this is a, all in a Microsoft Office tutorial. I've put the link here on the, um, on the right-hand side of the sheet and you can find that and look that up if you like. If I expand these columns, here's my full name concatenated, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a um, create a conditional format. Unlike, you know, if I come over here and I, and, I, and I say make the text bold, that's a format. Well, there's something called a conditional format that's actually a little bit more sophisticated. So if I come up to my conditional format tab, I can create a new rule or you know, however, I'm going to show you, I'm going to click the Manage Rules tab to show you the rule I already made up. And what that rule says is, in this cell, uh, it's saying for duplicate values, I'm going, to, I'm going to search through this set of cells and look for duplicate values to that one cell. Well, how did I do that? Let me show you how I did that again. I will come up to... Well, let's say this cell. Let's say we're going to do the streets. I'll say conditional formatting, new rule. And I'm going to say format unique or duplicate values. And I'm going to say format. And I think because I don't want to do a, you know, a fill, a, a, a fill in the, a, you know, a red fill in the box because that might wreak havoc with the printers. I'm just going to make the text red. That'll still actually print out slightest, slightly grayish if you are in a rush and you can't reformat all your text. So I'll say, as a result of this conditional format, make my text red when there's a duplicate. And I'll click OK. Oh, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't specify a range. Let me go back into this guy. And conditional format, manage rules. And it's in my current selection. So th this is a different one from the other one and it's really asking me for a range. And that sets my range. I click OK. So now it's actually showing me duplicates here. Okay. I don't really want to do that to these cells, so I'm going to remove those. And I'm just going to show you how this one works. So once I've applied that conditional format, it's now highlighted anything that's a duplicate elsewhere in this column using that conditional format red. Well, if I've got them, this is nice and clustered, it's all stacked up, but if I've got them scattered throughout a huge list, I really want to, um, I want to kind of collapse that list and get them where I can, uh, I can use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another column, it's called full name duplicated, okay? And if I go into that, this is the formula I'm going to use. The formula for this column is count if C colon C comma C2. So it's saying in this whole column look for duplicates of the cell C2 and you put greater than one at the end of it to make it all work. And then once that's done I can grab this and drag it down. It repeats the formula which is concatenate and it repeats it relative to the cells next to it. And then, oh, excuse me, I switched columns there. That's what I did to copy these down. I'm going to do the same thing here. When I drag it down and I click this, it actually knows that you jumped down a, a row, and it's repeated that, that concept. It's saying for this whole column, which is the outlined in blue, I want you to compare it to this and tell me if there's any duplicates. 
And then if it is, it's going to say true. So you see now this the stack of red names next to them it says true. Well, why is that good? Because I can come into this column, go to my data tab, and I can click sort. So now what it's done is it's sorted our whole list and it's pulled all the falses together and all the trues together. I think I did this in the wrong direction. Okay, so either of these buttons will go top to bottom. It'll resort your list and it'll get you in a place where you can go through manually and say, okay, this guy, John Smith, looks like he lives at the same address. And I can come in here and delete that because I know it's extra. I'm going to put that back in, undo, because I want, I want to share this file with you and let you use it. So that is the tutorial, and I hope that you can use this to your benefit.